Celia Mosk, and she's standing over there with Thank Carrie Livgren and Robbie Steinhardt. Marcy, what's going on over there? Hiya, Terry. How are you? Very well. We're just in the super time. One of the finest shows I think Pittsburgh's seen the whole year long, in year my opinion, time. anyway. And in fact, I was talking to some people out front in the lobby right before the concert ended, and quite a few people agree with me. That's for sure. Carrie Livgren's with us. Hi, Carrie. Hello. How are you? Hi. How's it going? Uh, good. Pretty good, real beat, you know, but uh, boy, the crowd was just unbelievable tonight, you know. What can I say, you know, it was one of the better crowds I remember playing for, and they're always great here, you know, every time we well, play. Pittsburgh them. loves you, and yeah, everybody agrees with you. Pittsburgh, and the Pennsylvania for that matter. Welcome back to Pittsburgh, for sure. Gary, uh, people, people were saying, okay, oh, somebody moved my mic in the proper place here. Gary, um, we were wondering... <laughs> Okay, we've got it. Uh, we were wondering, in the middle of uh, Song for America, you came out with a Russian number. Uh, we were backstage, and we couldn't see it, and the audience probably couldn't see it either, because, well, you know radio. Could you describe to us what was going on and uh, the name of the song? Well, that's our Gypsies music. It's, uh, it's a little number we worked up. It's a Hungarian Rhapsody by Liszt. Uh, or Brahms, excuse me, Brahms. Uh, my list was wrong. And... Uh, we decided to work that up just as kind of a, a novelty tune. You know, people are familiar with it, although no one really knows what it is. And everybody kind of jumps up and claps and has a fun time on it. You had a table out in front of us, so. <laughs> I won't come in on that. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it myself because I was backstage. What happened then? Well, that's part of our little skit. You know, it just has to be seen to be uh, appreciated. It's, uh, I don't know, I really don't know how to describe it. Try, Rob? Uh, no, no, nobody no wants way. to describe it. Well, they took a table out in the front, and uh, from what I understand, you were all sitting around the table with masks yeah, on? three guys around the table with different masks. Uh, we have a clown mask and what we call a stern boy. <laughs> and uh, what's the other one? Moon Man. A oh, Moon Man, right. And then uh, you know, one, each one of the three guys will wear one. Carrie's one of them. Uh, we won't mention the other two people. And, Seeing uh, as how it was Halloween, it was a little bit more appropriate than it usually is. Happy Halloween. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, uh, Stern Boy finishes his, the song on, uh, finishes his, <laughs> excuse me, finishes the song on uh, Vibes, you know, so and that ends out that tune, and then we go into the end of uh, Cheyenne Anthem. Great. Uh, one other thing I wanted to ask you, uh, during the concert, I had this feeling that there was a, an orchestra behind you. Did you ever consider recording with a live symphony orchestra behind you? Maybe perhaps on a next record or a live set with an orchestra. It's an interesting idea, but the band has a very orchestrated sound to begin with, so it might be like uh, just too much of the same sound, really. I don't know if uh, it's really necessary for us to use strings or anything, because the band uh, has a violinist and we have string synthesizers and all kinds of things. It's not really necessary. Robbie, do you feel the same way? Uh -huh, yeah. I mean, it, it would be a lot of fun to work with an orchestra like, uh, like uh, Deep Purple did at one time. But uh, they didn't have the same uh, instrumentation that we do. So I, I feel that we have just about a little bit of every, every kind of sound, every kind of instrument that, that we, you know, we have just a little bit of everything on stage and in the studio a little more. So there's really no need to have an orchestra, like Gary said, behind us. Uh, what part of your tour are you on now? Are you in the middle? Or on, where are you headed next? Beginning. <laughs> yeah, it's this is real beginning. close to the beginning. It's about the 10th or 11th date, I believe, that we've done in the last few weeks. You were in Atlanta not too long ago, too, weren't you? Well, that's, that's been a while. That's been quite a while. We're due to play there. Yeah, yeah we're playing in the December. Fox. Yeah. But we did, we did play the ballroom. We have played the ballroom several Alex times. Alex Coolis. Yeah. 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 And something happened to you. You want to tell us about it? No, oh, it, it just happened. One of the flash boxes that, that we set off, used to set off at the end of the, the set after uh, the end of the pinnacle, <clears throat> when we, back when we were doing that. Uh, one of the flash pots was just aimed at me, and I was facing the drums. And when it went off, it just took about, well, it took about a, a third of the back of my hair off, you know, in a, in a certain U, kind of a U configuration. It kind of melted all the, fused all the hair together, and it took about an hour to get it all undone. But it, you know, just burned like a little U or a V out of my hair, and it's finally starting to grow it's back. Part of but our I, human demolition derby act. Like I, was, like I was telling you before, I just, 
I really didn't realize what had happened, but it felt real hot at the time. It was the end of the song. I just went up to the mic and said, thank you and good night. And there's smoke pouring off of my head, you know, and, and I went downstairs. And people, you know, some people thought it was part of the act. But most of the people that came back the next day said, are you all right? You know, what happened last night? You know, it was, it was neat in a way. Do we have another uh, part of the band here with us now? Hello. <laughs> I'm Rich Williams. Rich, you had a tuxedo on during the show. Um, you know, when, you, when the band first started out, you were wearing overalls and, and you know, get down country in a tuxedo. Oh, yeah. Change of pace, I guess. Got tired of wearing those old rags. <laughs> Wore all the overalls out, so I don't know, I had a little spare cake and bought a tux. Just <laughs> basically, <laughs> otherwise, do it. We wanted to let you know from the station that we've received hundreds of phone calls so far. I mean, from as far out as West Virginia, and people are just real excited with the stereo broadcast. Right. Like I said before, people out here in the hall were so excited about the show, and we're really glad you made it back to Pittsburgh. You know, so are we. It was obvious they were excited. We were, too. You know, it's, al it's always a, a major event for us to play this town, you know, and hopefully we'll be able to, to squeeze in a few more people the next time. And uh, not much bigger, hopefully, you know, like we've, we've done the Sandy a couple times and really enjoyed it, doing it there. I understand that place has been renovated completely. Is it nice now? Um, it's, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Anyway, yeah, we, we love playing here, to answer your question again. Yeah. One of the few places where we play where we're nervous. <laughs> you were really nervous before? You? I know, I talked to Dave and he said he was... here for some reason, I don't know. I don't know, anywhere where you'd, you'd like a little bit more than other places, you kind of... It's a little bit more like, you know, I've got it like it tonight. They expect you know. something out yeah. of sure. <laughs> well, thanks an awful lot for well, coming. Thanks. Robbie Steinhardt, Carrie Livgren, and Rich Williams. and Williams. And uh, we're really glad. We're talking to these people live from the Stanley Theater here in Pittsburgh right after the live stereo broadcast. And you know something, you Kansas? Mosque? The, mosque? the Syria Mosque. Okay. Right. You know, but see, Kansas knows Pittsburgh much better than Marcy does. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. So, uh, Kansas, you are Pittsburgh. Thanks for coming. Thank you very we'll much. We'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks, Marcy. Nice interview there with Rich Williams, Carrie Livgren, and Robbie Steinhardt from Kansas. After an amazing live broadcast, indeed, of Ambrosia and Kansas, live from the Syria Mosque, 